What up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of What the Truck. We're over here. I came to visit Roman. What's up, guys? Keeping it classic. You guys probably know him, but you probably don't know this truck because this truck's on the DL. And if you're seeing this video, it means it's not on the DL anymore. But Roman's like, bro, don't tell nobody about this truck. So <laughs> he, for now. he gave me the whole run around on this. And I'm like, we have to show everybody. So, dude, what the truck? What the truck, guys? So what we're checking out right now is a one owner truck. Uh, 1969 F250 high boy true F26 not a body swap none of that good stuff um, one owner truck this guy was a retired marine he uh, lived in California he flew out to Detroit Michigan ordered his truck I got all the paperwork to show it to you I, um, literally he flew out there he ordered his truck he left a hundred dollar deposit and then he flew back to California I'm sorry and then he flew back there when the truck was ready and drove it back home and it's lived in the pole barn its entire life Wow. Um, the gentleman passed away about five years ago uh, when he was 85 years old uh, it does have one factory repaint or I'm sorry repaint of its factory original colors the way it was ordered um, that was done about 20 years ago uh, he did some certain old man accoutrements which I didn't really care for so he put some some of these wheels on there they're 15s um, I'm gonna put stock steelies back on with some 9016 super lugs I'm gonna put the West Coast mirrors back on, take these 7379s off. Um, but it is a true Ranger package truck, 360, four speed. Um, the thing runs immaculate. She's uh, mint. Yeah, she's she's clean, man. Um, There's the paperwork, he'll show it to you guys in a second. I love the, all the wood grain options. The, uh, the truck, so the gentleman left it to his son. His son is not in the old truck since his father passed away. Um, Basically, it hadn't left the pole barn. I kind of had found out about, about it in a roundabout way. Got the guy's information, told him when he's ever interested in selling it, let me know. Um, I ended up buying a, a, a Mercury pickup truck and was gonna keep that around. And now I'm trying to sell the Mercury pickup truck because I ended up buying this thing. This thing came way out of left field. I didn't think he was gonna be interested in selling it anytime soon. And he called me last week and said, hey, I'm looking to post this thing up for sale. What do you think it's worth? Are you actually interested? I said, hey, if you can do me a favor, just please get it out in the open, out of the barn, spray it off, dust it off, and let me see what I'm dealing with. And if it's, if it's worth it, then I'll come down and I'll, I'll take a look at it and make you an offer. Well, I, was tried, I tried my hardest not to get like overly excited about the truck when he sprayed it down and cleaned it out. But I knew I was going down there and I went down there with cash, knew and I was gonna buy it and make a deal with the guy. So I think it had a camper on it all its life. Um, the bed's immaculate, like it's never been used. Oh, definitely. Um, it's got a couple fuel uh extra fuel tanks on the side it needs some it needs some updating but i'm gonna leave it in this it's original patina character i'm gonna change out the bumper he's got this big ranch bumper on on air um i'm gonna change this out i got a custom bumper i'm gonna put on solomon's giving me the wood uh insert here he says he's got one he's giving to me giving it to me for a deal uh, this thing actually had if you come look at this side um the gentleman put this extra little piece of trim right here on on all the trim this little extra piece and it's peeling off so solomon says keep it there but i'm gonna peel it all off and the best part about it is it is it saved most of the trim on the side from being dinged up so it's a yeah, super straight um tailgate's all good open closes the original factory spare wheel and tire is underneath there which is badass it even has in like grease pencil writing says spare on it so wow I thought that was super cool um but i am gonna get rid of these wheels and tires like i said uh the as we all know these trucks are heavy up front and the leaf springs now sag so i got a new set of devers coming um those are 11 weeks out like everything because of coronavirus we, i know everybody's waiting for parts just like me so uh, we all got, I got time to work coming. on stuff dude it's crazy but um let's see i just wanted to show you guys this is kind of i kind of geek out on this stuff and i know a lot of you ford pierce are the same way but uh here's the original order form the build Can't, sheet yeah the build sheet um i've never even seen one of these and I've never seen yeah one. an affidavit but you can see he paid $3,633.80 in 1969 for this truck. Hopefully you got a better deal than that. Yeah, this is pretty <laughs> cool, man. You can kind of tell like how cheap things were back then. This was his deposit from the bank, $100. Wow. For his deposit on a 69 F250 pickup truck. And then this was his special order sheet, like identifying what colors he wanted it in and um, what color he wanted his interior, etc. So. 
I thought that was all pretty you got cool. The original warranty book, yeah. you got everything. Original warranty book and then owner's you got manual. The owner's manual. Yeah, it's dude, bitching, that's man. Awesome. I actually looked at this because I was I didn't know what fuse to run uh, for my brake lights down there, so I was like, ah, you know, and instead of googling it, let me just open up the owner's manual. It's kind of cool. <laughs> that's what it's there for. Um, so far, all I've done to this thing is I have cleaned it. I've taken off, it had the original, or not original, but the gentleman put the, what do you call those things? Um, it's like the wind deflector? Yeah, like wind deflectors or rain guards or something. He had those Smoker, on there. Smokers, smokers, things. Out. I got some original Fomoco 67 to 72 uh, bump side, wet, full West Coast mirrors. I'm gonna put those on. Um, I'll clean up the trim. How's the motor look? The motor, too. so I steam cleaned everything. That was it. Um, so if you look, I mean, even check the undercarriage. Like, it's all steam cleaned, so it just needs painted and all that good stuff but when my springs come in i will uh i'll, I'll get underneath there and dial it all in yeah the motor's clean it's very healthy it runs i drove it from san diego to huntington beach probably about an hour and 30 hour and 45 minutes 65 70 miles an hour no problem no overheating issues no leaky oil on my driveway i always always even though it's an old truck and and you think it's faithful i always put a little drip pan down though but um, dude, this is probably one of the nicest OG high boys I've seen and dude, it's clean. It's, it's, it's a, so clean. It's all original You know, it's like I, I want to put a new radiator in I want to do certain things and I'm just like, you know what? I would be doing this thing a disservice I have enough other trucks that I can cut up and mess around with but this thing I want to put it back to OG factory. If like, it ain't broke, don't look at this, it, right? Overflow. <laughs> like, that's old school man. It's got I mean the only upgrade that he did which is very tasteful in my opinion for anybody that's driven one of these trucks is he's got power steering in it but it's a oh, yeah. that's a plus it's a fomoco steering box you know um so other than that i mean the headman header it's got headers long tube headers on there but they're all rusted so i'll change that out um i'll probably hit up jason over at fat fender garage and get maybe um a new master cylinder or something like that for this thing and then possibly a holly sniper or something but i don't know other than that it's gonna look factory i i've I I just want to make this guy like a, a total grandpa truck. You know, it had an original brush guard on the front, which wasn't, and I'm a total grill guard guy. Like I love grill guards, but the one that was on here just didn't do this truck justice. Um, there's a, you guys, I'm, I'm sure everyone follows Chris Swenson. Chris Swenson's high boy is ridiculously cool and I'm really going for that look with it. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna negate the winch bumper and just keep the custom bumpers. Other than that, though, man, I mean, like, I'm not going to buy any reproduction stuff. I want to keep it all original. The, um, the, the light bezels, you can tell, like, on, a, on most people. Like, if I wanted to, I could just pull this off, buy a new one, pop it on there. But I'm going to try to paint these and clean those up. This one's all, you can tell it hit, hit some sunlight in the pole barn because it's kind of, like, red oh, yeah. and faded. But stuff. I'm just going to kind of fix it, man. Just doctor it all up. But, Hell, yeah. Yeah, undercarriage, I'll make it clean, but it runs tight, man. She runs like a top. Take her around the block? Yeah, let's do it. So I asked my kid, cool thing, because you will see me, like I tag all my trucks. I kind of geek out with them, like my son and my, my, my family, like all my kids, they don't know them as the high boy or the Mercury or whatever. We name all our trucks. So I asked my boy, I go, what do you want to name this truck? And I was thinking like, hey, he's all into Avengers. Maybe he'd name it like the Hulk, right? And he goes, man, it looks like vegetables. And I'm like, well, that, okay, what kind of vegetables? He's like, let's call it broccoli. And I go, ah, oh, I don't know if <laughs> I, I can call it avocado. broccoli. So I go, hey, for short, <laughs> we're gonna call it Brock. So hey, this that is works. Brock. This is Brock, our high boy. That's actually a really good name for this. Yeah, man, that's cool. Hell yeah. Sweet. All right, let's go for a cruise. Yeah, we're gonna go for a cruise. Catch you there. We're gonna go for a little ride. You guys can hear the sewing machine, which is this truck. Woo! Fired right up. It's granny geared, so I, second. We'll start there. <laughs> Dude. Want some AM radio? <laughs> what's, what's the good news channel around here? It's clear. Bro, look at the size of that antenna. It better be clear. Um, whoever wins that matchup is going to have to go to Green Rogers. Here you go. Green Rogers. Go that good. harbor. 
Yeah, it was beautiful. So do you want to go back down there? Or? Yeah. Okay, cool. Hey, this isn't nearly as fast as Wicked Jason's though, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, it threw me back in my feet. It's a different vibe. That truck's cool, man. It is. So how many miles are on this? So it says 70,120. Okay. And I'm a pretty much sure, I mean, you can look at it and say maybe it's 70,000, but by looking at the undercarriage and how dirty the motor actually was, I'm thinking it rolled over at least once. Okay, so probably 170 yeah. something. But the guy said his, uh, you know, like I said, there was a camper on it, so they must have taken vacations and stuff, but the thing truly is immaculate, but I know it was indoor all its life. So it could be 70, could be 170, but yeah. I'm not gonna, I, I can't vouch for anything. All right, so we just went for a ride. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you can, consider giving this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, drop them down below. And consider subscribing to the channel if you like what you've seen. And that's it. We'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. See you later.